the power stays on. The storm's right overhead. So this is take two. We'll see how we go. If it goes off again, um, I'm just waiting for people to come back on. If it goes off again, I'll use my phone to do the rest because at least I'll have something. But we'll see how we go. Okay, so this is where I got to. Hopefully everybody that um, got chopped off can come back. But I'm not sure that the power is going to stay on. So we'll see how we go. That's one of the other things about living in the bush is that overhead power wires and trees are not a good combination. Okay, so what I was about. Yes, Chris asked, is it the poppy set? Yes, it's the poppy set. So poppy set I will leave here so that she can see in that top corner. Okay, now I pulled out balmy blue. I'm going to put a little bit of blue just around some of my flowers and some of my leaves because I'm going to slosh some water around because there's not enough water around outside. I'm just going to slosh a bit of water around. But I just want a little bit of colour around here as well. Okay. Oh, someone's back. Hopefully we're back to stay. We'll see how we go. Okay, so... If you didn't get the first part of the video, um, we ended up with a power out. And of course, it kicked everything off. It took my internet a little bit to come back. Eventually, it came good. I had to refresh absolutely everything. But I'm not sure if you can see the bright flashes of light. I'm sure that you could definitely hear them because they're making the whole house move with the thunder because it's just literally right overhead this storm. Okay. So, but we'll see how we go. Um, all right. So, yeah. Okay. I'm just adding a little bit of blue. So it looks quite dark and our balmy blue is actually our lightest blue. It's really pretty blue. And when you add some water to this, you will see it's, it becomes a pretty blue. So I've used quite a few colours. I've used some colours from both packets of the watercolour pencils. Um, what I usually do when I'm colouring, I'll go from our lightest colour to our darkest, but I've got jeans on so I'm quite happy to wipe my water on them i'm going to use the two they've got like a push bit here so when you squeeze it the water comes down into the brush at the end all right um i do store them in my pencil case this way because my pencil case is actually a source container all right come on baby how'd you come All right, it's finally coming down the end. Okay, so we'll start with this yellow one. And I'm just, oh, what I should have done is showed you a bit closer up. See how bad my colouring is. So it doesn't look like much, does it? But it's going to do the job, okay? So I'm literally just pushing the colour around. And I've started with my lighter colour. There's a bit of fluff on there. And I'm blending those colours where I put that extra colour in. Okay, I'm blending those colours together. Start with my lightest part of the tip and make my darker colour. And that just gives a little bit of depth to our poppy and this is the shimmer paper so you get a different effect on the water paper so it's called fluid 100 it's a beautiful paper but I couldn't find it so hence you got shimmer today okay so that's my yellow poppy so you can see the difference see how it's all pushed around and it's nice and smooth whereas this bit over here is a bit rough and ready 
All right, so I'm going to do this one next. Move them around my yellow, bring it in towards my, that's pumpkin pie, I believe, if I remember correctly. Okay. You could have a tissue in your hand, take some of the colour off. As you can see, I'm just pinching it and then I'm wiping my fingers on my shorts. Really classy. Like if you wore an apron, you could wear, <laughs> rub it on your apron as well. Because I actually want more of the yellow to come through. It's a pretty colour combination, that one. That's actually a really pretty poppy. Now we just push that bit there around a little bit more. Okay. And then we'll just jump all the way across here, do our yellow on this one, bring our orange pumpkin pie down into our base bit. More of our yellow. And I'm just smoothing it out so that it takes away. Oops. I don't know that this power is going to last, guys, but we'll, I'm just going to keep going. Yes, I'm back, Nicole. I don't <laughs> I don't know if the power's going to last, but we'll see how we go. I'm glad my husband shut the windows because you should see them. They are saturated. The water is just pouring at them because it's sideways rain. So, But I live on water tanks here, so it's actually not a bad thing that we're getting a lot of rain um, because with five of us in the house, water doesn't last as long as I'd like. Oh, that was really close and something went but I don't know what it was. <laughs> Something behind me went. <laughs> I've, already, I've just replaced a television um, last week. So as long as it's not turned on, but and I can't unplug it, which is a real bummer. But we'll see. All right, so I just feel like I've got to move faster, though. I want more yellow on that one. They are really pretty, these poppies. My jeans are starting to go different colours. All right, so let's do some red ones. And... I find colouring in quite therapeutic. I don't know about you guys, but I do like doing it. I love the blends for that very reason. But I and I love the watercolour pencils, but I don't I don't think I use them enough. See how we're coming along? Looking pretty. All right, let's do this one. These are just really red poppies. What's so funny? My husband's standing here laughing at me. I don't think he thinks I'm going to get through this. Yeah. I know it's coming down. But, um, today would have been a good day not to do a live. Because, yeah, but hey, what an experience, guys. <laughs> It, it's really dark here as well, Chris. It's like I normally don't have every light in the house on at this time of day, but today it's... In the middle of the red stuff. Uh, he's just bought me his phone. This is us here. <laughs> no wonder it's like not so crash hot. And strangely enough, the bomber just uh, and we, a notification. And we've got a warning. Oh, yes. Hey, we've got a warning. <laughs> we've got a warning. Okay, so I need to get rid of this pink off the end of my 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 um, pencil. Uh, before I do my green, <laughs> I'm going to um, <laughs> blue skies in Perth. Well, Nicole, <laughs> I can send some your way, but over the weekend we had blue skies. Over the weekend we had forty plus degrees. It was like an oven around here. So, I don't know, it's like Mother Nature's gone nuts. So, 
I'm going to do the green before I do the blue because I was going to do the blue first, but and then I started on the green. It's the weather, it's getting to my head, and I've got a bit of water on my brain. Uh, so I'm just, I feel like I'm rushing so much here. I mean, not that, it, like, I love colouring in. It's very therapeutic. I don't know how therapeutic it is to watch. All right, so I've done that bit. <laughs> yeah, I love the thunderstorm as well, but it's not conducive to doing a live in, I must admit. All right, so now I'm just pushing around my blue. So the blue is sort of a little bit wishy, going to be a little bit wishy-washy around it. I'm just going to make sure I really don't, I don't shove it into my yellows and my reds. doesn't matter if it ends up in a little bit in the greens. I just wanted to take away such that white stark background. All right. And I love the look of watercolour. So a lot of our designer series papers currently have a beautiful water and colour look. And I do love that look. Whoa, can you see all that flashing on the paper? Yeah. I wonder what we're doing for dinner. <laughs> I know we won't be going and getting takeaway. Oh, we've still got to go and pick up Little Floss. Um, my youngest one is work at work. My biggest one's not. She hates thunderstorms, so she's probably very glad she's not at work. But my youngest one, see that she... Um, She's at work, and her plan was to work, walk from work over to McDonald's when she fin over, over from McDonald's over to Coles to do, get some grocery stuff. My guess is lollies um, after work, but I have a sneaking suspicion she might not be doing that because she won't want to walk in this. So, and okay, here we go. Nearly done. <laughs> All right. Now, because it's shimmer paper, you won't be able to see it, but because it's shimmer paper, see how, oh, maybe? Is that still in focus there? It, it has a bit of shimmer to it, but it hasn't ballsed up. So the paper hasn't gone all yucky. Now, what I did want to show you is what I'm going to do... Been rather eventful hasn't it what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to pinch a little bit of the green and just slightly rub it in there the other thing that you can do is on your piece of paper and I think I'll do this instead is I'll just make a bit of a mess there with some green yeah it does it looks pretty doesn't it because I don't want to, I can't use a lot of water, all right, because the the basic white or our regular cardstocks are not a fan of water. So you've got to be, you can use, uh, they, they look great if you do use, this works with um, Winker Stella. So they look great if you do this with Winker Stella, but I'm not, I'm just using water. You essentially get one go. Otherwise, it turns into it like it. I don't know. The word I want to use is peeling. It it sort of comes up and it it, it like the paper goes all yeah because it absorbs the water. You can do the same thing on the envelope, but you know what? I think the envelope. I might only do the front one, but see how it's just got a little bit. Or you can see shadows and wires, but. It's just got a little bit of colour in there just just because I like some colour in there. The envelope, I won't do the back. What I will do on this part, though, I'll show you, um, is there's actually a black pencil. So as Sharon said, I could have put it in the... I could have put it in the Stamparatus, but I didn't need to because I can just do... And when you add the water to it, it actually goes darker. 
there's a little bit of a gappy bit there, bit there. Now I will say what it will do is those bits will run if if this get, envelope gets wet, but aside of that they won't. All right. So on this side, let's make it a yellow poppy because we don't uh, orange because we don't want a lot of color. Um, I don't want to use a lot of water. So I'll just give it a little bit of a a wash. And because I'm not using much water, it's not going to damage the paper. Okay. But the it doesn't move as round as much. But you can still put a bit of colour on it. All right. So it's still got a little bit of colour but not as much as our front piece does. So with our front piece, what I'm thinking is, and I'm thinking that I need, I might put another layer. Oh, actually, no, that looks quite pretty. So I'm feeling brave. I'm just going to stamp straight on here. And I was going to use the stays on, but you know what? I'm actually going to pull out a memento because I know they're I know that they're wet, and I store them upside down. So it should stamp nice and dark. In theory, it should stamp nice and dark. Okay. So I've got just for you on here. Yeah. I read this the other day. That's why I know it's nice and wet. Okay. This one stamps a little bit crooked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to line up my words, line up my against my thing here, and I'm going to stamp it this way. All right. And I can see that I've got to kick that way a little bit. Does that make sense? So I want to put it down here, cross everything that's going to work. I would normally stand up over it, but at the moment, see how much shadow you get just from me leaning a little bit? What do you reckon? Do you reckon that's pretty straight? I'm pretty impressed with that. All right, and I'm getting message after message here. So I'll mute them. Oh, I didn't do very good with my bending of my cardstock because I didn't score it. You're okay, bud. There's a puppy on the floor at my feet telling me there's a big storm isn't there ah, so just for you I was going to do a garden green piece that piece is going to adhere onto there so I'll pop it on And again, I'm going to use the lines on my grid paper to help me make sure I get it straight. So I've got to hold my tongue right. Hi, Karen. Good to see you here. This is our take two version. All right. 
Ah, it's over here. Let's move that to the side. So we can have choice here. We can have, we can add um, some trim if we wanted to. We can put on dimensionals. Oh, I noticed that there's a little bit of blue, the balmy blue that hasn't been wet. So we'll just wet that piece. couple of little bits here that hadn't been mushed and you could still see the pencil lines. Uh, um, it's a really, it's just really pretty. So we have the choice where we can just stick that straight on there. We could add some ribbon, we could add some twine, but I don't know that it really needs it. What do you reckon? Do we go with some twine? Let's have a vote. Throw me your votes. Twine, yes or no? So, because I'm thinking if I do twine, I would go with one of these ones. I'm thinking the black probably, although would you use the black? I don't know. I didn't pull any of them out. It's got all of them in here. There's the white. That's not going to work. That's my... This one here is actually our natural and our normal twine. These are the ones from the packet. No? Chris has voted no. I don't think it needs it. So, mm, let's go with no. Okay, so it's just a really pretty card by itself. We don't need it, do we? But somewhere on my table... Have you seen these? These are milky dots. And they're like a, well, they're milky. They're spots in all different colours and they're milky and they're really pretty. And I really like them. So I think we could put some of them on instead. That's what we're going to go with. And I'm going to add dimensionals under this just because I think it needs to lift up a bit. Yes to bling, no to twine. Yeah, go the bling, hey. So, and we're going to use quite a few dimensionals here because we don't want it to sag. And oh, there's my tool. Nope, that one didn't come off. Come on. This one doesn't want to come off either. And last one. And then you can take them all off in one go and put them in the bin. Now, doesn't always work. They still chase me around the house. Okay. And I'm thinking it needs to go that way. Let me just hold my tongue right while I do this. There you go. And to match, oh, I'm going to go with the gold ones. Oh, it doesn't want to come. Ah, where'd that one go? Oh, here it is. That one's a bit stubborn. Oh, I've got a green dot there. I told you I'd get my fingers on it. Come on. Okay, one card. So the colours in the dots, the packet doesn't tell us, but there's gold. There's actually they're from the Regency Park Suite. So I'll just grab my catalogue. It's on page 30 and I'll tell you what colour they are. 
you'll get you're going to get a couple of rows of them when you come to class on the weekend, Chris, because they're part of your pack. So, Mango Melody, Knight of Navy, Petal Pink, and White is what color they are. But the gold one looks just gold. But yes, I can see why it's Mango Melody. But they're really pretty. That's the main thing, is they're really pretty. All right, and that's our card. And my envelope has developed some legs. Oh, there it is. For today. And we got it finished. T took two goes, but we got it finished. So what do you think? So using our aqua pen or watermarker, ugh, don't mind me, our water painters, our painted poppies, some of our watercolour pencils from both sets, a little bit of shimmer cardstock, and we've got a really pretty card. Do you like that one? Alrighty. So just to let you in on a little secret, look, I've moved seats. <laughs> so I'm all the way over here. <laughs> it's probably the, um, I, I, I started in a seat that was over there. <laughs> so thank you for joining me uh, twice. I will catch up with you next week on our Facebook Lives and we'll see how we go. Uh, what I'll do is I'll join the two videos together on the on the Mac and drop them into YouTube together so you can actually watch it all in one go if you want to watch repeat. <laughs> Toodaloo for now. Stay dry, stay safe, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.